Well, good evening, family. Hope you guys are having a wonderful, blessed day because Grammy's having a wonderful, blessed day. We are back in the kitchen tonight and we are going to make w another delicious recipe for our seven days of Christmas cookies and treats. Tonight is a Christmas cookie. It may not be a Christmas cookie at your house, but it is here. It's my husband's favorite cookie. It's a snickerdoodle. And I have gathered all the ingredients and we're gonna get right into this. Uh, this is a kind of a quick cookie. It's not gonna take us long. We're gonna get it done. We're gonna put it on a pan. We're gonna put it in the oven and I'm gonna remember to use good spacing. I still might make ginormous cookies cause that's what Grammy does. <laughs> so I'm gonna get you guys turned down so you can see what I'm doing tonight. I'm gonna be using my handy dandy mixer. I think I'll have a lot better control. We shall see. When it comes to cooking, I don't have control. I think one of the reasons why I have such a hard time being a baker is because I really don't like to follow a recipe. I just like to take a bowl and put a little bit of this in there, a little bit of that. But I have this completely measured out and I'm using my handy dandy recipe for snickerdoodles and I think it's gonna be delicious. So let's get turned down and let's get to doing it. We're going to add our butter to that. It's going to equal one cup of butter. That's two sticks. Okay, we've got that added in there. Our next ingredient that we're going to need to add to that is our half a cup of granulated sugar. Oh, yeah. Get into the pool, boy. Get into the pool. Next is a three-fourths cup of light brown sugar. All righty. That's already looking delicious. We have one egg, room temperature, and one egg yolk. So it's just one egg and one egg yolk. And I went ahead and just put them in one bowl together so I could pour them in there. Alrighty. And then we have two, two teaspoons of vanilla. Okay. And I'm going to work this together and then we're going to add our dry ingredients to it. So let's go ahead and get that done. So it's going to get a little noisy. If it's too noisy whenever I go to editing, we might throw in some Christmas music. I think we've got that creamed pretty good. So the next thing we're going to add in there is we're going to add our one teaspoon of baking powder. We have one teaspoon of our cream of tartar. We have a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and that smells so so good. Alrighty, and then we're going to incorporate that, and then we're going to add the flour, which is, how much flour do we have in here? We have two and three-fourths cup of flour that we're going to have to incorporate in here, but we're going to go ahead and get those spices and all of that stuff in there. And now we're going to begin to add just a little bit of this at a time. I love to use a bow like this when I'm incorporating because I can kind of hang it on my hand. finish getting anything that didn't get incorporated in there and doesn't that look like a delicious cookie dough that is a delicious cookie dough I think we got everything incorporated it's looking like there's no loose flour anything like that 
Okay, now with this recipe, we do not have to go in the refrigerator with it. It's just gonna go straight into the oven once we spoon it out. So let me clean up this mess. We'll be back with my pans. We'll get in the oven and then we'll have a story. I'll be right back. We're gonna scoop them out. We're going to leave them with enough room to spread. Like I said, I'm doing a smaller cookie. These are the ones that I'm giving out. So I want to make sure that they have plenty of room to spread plenty of room to look good. Now we're not ready to put these in the oven just yet. I've got to get them made out of the Okay, over here in a bowl, I have some granulated sugar with some cinnamon in it. And before these go in the oven, we're gonna roll these out. Now you don't have to, that's totally fine and up to you. But I mean, I think that's what makes a snickerdoodle delicious is that cinnamon sugar on it. Okay, I'm not gonna get overzealous. I'm gonna do nine per pan. So let's do this pan together. Got my cinnamon sugar right here. I'm gonna put a little cinnamon sugar on my hand, just a little bit. I'm gonna roll that cookie. And I'm gonna roll it in that cinnamon and sugar. See that? Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. Same thing I'm gonna do here. I'll set that there. And we're gonna roll it in there. I'm telling you, it smells like cinnamon toast up in here. I love cinnamon toast that there grab another cookie and I'm going to continue doing this until we get them all done this is kind of a simple cookie tonight after I got beat up and got a uh, TKO <laughs> knocked out <laughs> with them cookies the other night I thought a simple cookie would be good and we've got a lot of cookies on the agenda so some are simpler than others and some are a little more complicated be honest with you, none of them's that complicated if you just take your time. And if you mess up, you had a good time in the kitchen, you got to spend it with some wonderful friends. And uh, that's the way I look at it. So, and my husband's gonna love these. This is his favorite, favorite kind of cookie. He loves a snickerdoodle cookie. And it's gonna take a good bit of that, so you wanna make sure, because I really like to put it on there. And I'm just gonna kinda Press them down just a little bit so there'll be a little bit of a thinner cookie. But I still want them to be soft in the center. So these are going to go in the oven at 350 degrees. And I believe they're going to take about 10 minutes. But it could be less just depending on your oven or more. So we're going to do 10 minutes. I'm going to continue doing this. I'm going to get them in the oven. We're going to have a little conversation. This video is not going to be very long tonight because this is an easy cookie. And uh, But we're going to look at it at the end. I'll be right back and we're going to have a little talk about Jesus. It's going to be wonderful. Who needs a robot vacuum cleaner when you have a Tilly? <laughs> Isn't she precious? Okay, family. I'm back. Let's talk about our Jesus. Christmas is about our Lord and about our Savior being born and the gift that God gave to the world. I was listening to a minister today and he said, quit bashing Christmas. He said, Christmas is the one time of year that Jesus is allowed to shine by the world. And he's right. It's the one time of the year where everybody celebrates the one thing and that's the birth of Christ. Now, they may not be selling it the same, celebrating it the same way we do. And they say, well, Jesus' birthday wasn't this time of year. He was born in September. But if you count the months, December was the, was the month that the Holy Spirit came upon Mary and she became pregnant with our Lord. You have to think about the big picture sometimes. So, the first miracle is turning the water into wine. And I love this one because it says, On the third day, a wedding took place at Canaan in, Canaan in Galilee, and Jesus' mother was there. And Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, They have no more wine. 
Dear woman, why do you involve me? Jesus replied, my time has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. Nearby stood six stones of water jars and the kind used by the Jews for ceremonial, ceremonial washing, each holding from 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus said to the servants, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, now draw some out and take it to the master of the banquet. So they did, and the master of the banquet tasted the water that had been turned into wine, and he did not realize where it had come from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew. Then he called the bridegroom aside and said, Everyone brings out the choice wine first, and then the cheaper wine after the guests have had too much to drink. But you have saved the best till now. This is the first of his miraculous signs Jesus performed in Canaan and Galilee. He thus revealed his glory, and his disciples put their faith in him. Now, he turned the water into wine, and he didn't just turn it into any old wine. He turned it into the best tasting wine that they had ever tasted. That's how Jesus is. He doesn't just do a miracle halfway. He does it all the way. So, if you're needing a miracle, if you're needing a healing, if you're needing your heart touched, if you're going through sorrow, I have several women who have lost their husbands this year and their mates, people who have lost their mothers, lost their sons, lost their children. Jesus can perform a miracle in you. He can take away those hurts. I can give, pray for you and I can offer comfort, but the true comfort comes from Jesus. The true peace comes from Jesus. But know I'm praying for you. Know that I love you. And I just want to tell you, I have been so blessed over the last couple of days, the last couple of weeks, when I see somebody say, I'm in need, or can you pray? And I see the rest of you go to them and say, I'm praying for you. I'm here. I know what you're going through. It blesses me. It never offends me or upsets me. You're doing what you're called to do. You're doing what you're called to do. I love you guys. I think I did a good job on these cookies tonight. Oh, yes, I did. I think I did. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're a cookie. They didn't grow together. They didn't come out of the oven looking like a thin cake. <laughs> and it smells so good in this kitchen. They've got to cool down for just a little while. They're out of the oven. As soon as they're done, and I can touch them without them falling apart, we are going to come back, and we're going to put a couple of them in the Ziploc bag, and we're going to add them to the cookie treat the cookie, the gift box that somebody is going to win at the end of this series. So I will be right back. Okay, family, we're back, and these cookies are looking fantastically delicious. Let me pick this pan up and show you these cookies. And, oh, I don't want them to slide off and not lose them, but these are some delicious cookies. Let me lift one up here, and I'll show you. Look at that cookie. Look at that deliciousness. And that is Grammy Snickerdoodle Cookies. And like I said, I have made these many times. It's my husband's favorite cookie. I make cookies quite often. I just don't always make pretty cookies. But these, every one of them turned out beautiful. I've got a whole bunch. So what I'm just going to do now is i got a Ziploc bag. We're going to pick two of the most beautiful cookies. We're gonna put them in the Ziploc bag. And then we're going to make sure the air is out of it. We're gonna seal it. We're gonna throw down the plastic wrap. And we're gonna take our beautiful box that somebody's gonna win. And we're gonna add these cookies right there in the top because uh, we're bit we're building a, a a christmas treat box for my people mm -hmm. wish i could build it for all of you and when i'm doing it in my heart i'm doing it for all of you but i'm only going to be it i'm only going to be able to bless one of you with it and so um i hope you guys enjoyed this recipe i enjoyed this recipe let's take one of these cookies and let's uh see if I can get one. This is a little smaller one. I had said I wasn't going to try any of them, but Grandpa Harold's asleep. 
So I'm going to break them open and show you how good they look. They're delicious. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 They're really good. They taste good. Oh. They would be good with a glass of milk. But I'm going to take one more little bite of this. And I'm going to bid you good night. I'm going to tell you that I love you because it's the truth. I'm going to say I'm praying for you because that's the truth too. And I will be back tomorrow evening with another delicious recipe. Probably do a treat tomorrow. Treat cookie, treat cookie till we get done. Y'all have a wonderful, blessed night. Until next time, I'm Grammy Nene. God bless you.